Hey everybody, this is Charlie with Competitive Edge. I'm showing the Colorado Cylinder Stove. This is the Spruce model. Uh, it comes in that box that you saw there. It's kind of heavy. You pull it out of the box, all the accessories are inside the stove. This is the, the flue or the stove, the pipe that comes out the top of the tent. And these are the legs. It comes with four of them, obviously. They just have simple threads. And then there's, I believe there's, yeah, there's four of those pipes and they just taper off. This is the shelf, it's optional. You don't have to put it on if you don't want to, but uh, it simply goes on either the left side here, there's matching receiving holes on the right side so you can, you can really put it on either side. And there's other accessories that they have available. I think there's a water tank that you can put on there, uh, heat up water for uh, a warm beverage. Inside the stove, you can see there's the last item that it comes with is this mesh bark arrester. And it's required by the National Forest year round. It's designed to help minimize the embers that might come out the top. Here's a shot of the inside of the stove. Uh, you can see there's a a, a grate there that you set the wood and everything on top of so the air can circulate and oxygen can keep the fire burning warm. And then the door closes nice. There's a wire there so you can close it and open it when it's hot. And then there's this vent here that opens and closes. Closing that will deprive the fire of oxygen and slowly it will burn out. Here's a kind of a walk around. You can see inside there, it's a five inch hole. There's the nominal dimensions. You can see the welds all the way around. They just do a fantastic job. Very, very happy with Colorado a cylinder. And then you can see the receiving holes for the shelf on the opposite side. So let's put the legs on. Uh, nothing too special about the legs going on. They just thread normally. And of course, there's four of them. You don't want to over tighten them, just kind of hand tighten them nice and tight, but don't over tighten them. I'm told that if, uh, if you over tighten them, the heat of the stove and everything, it can kind of fuse them together, make them very, very difficult to, to take off. Now we will put the flue on. There's four pieces. In curing the stove, the curing process means that you're you're burning off all the, I guess the oils and the, the paint or, I'm not sure everything that you're burning off, but the curing process is something you'll want to do outside. You want to do this outside because if you do it inside the tent, as you will discover at the end of my video with this uh, little fail that I have going on here. <laughs> um, but I put those in and you'll notice, see those holes in the pipe there? Here's a little note about those holes. It's designed for the stovepipe damper. This is a picture of it. Mine was supposed to come with it, but it didn't. The company's sending it to me. But you put that inside that hole, um, and it's it's cast iron, so the design is it fits inside inside the stovepipe to help control the draft and the burning temperature. So we're gonna open this up and start our fire. I'm basically just using regular wood. I do have some fire starter cubes that I used for convenience, but it's just, it's just regular wood, nothing special. And you're gonna wanna burn regular type wood when you're doing this. You don't wanna, you don't wanna use a bunch of pine cones and pine needles and stuff like that. If you're not burning regular wood, at the time you burn this, um, you're gonna have so many embers coming out and hot embers can land on the top of your tent and they can, they, I mean, you can, you don't wanna start a forest fire, you know? It should, you have to be careful just like you would with your fire pit outside your tent. You, you wanna make sure you you burn stuff responsibly and and uh, you're safe with just, just, you know, good regular wood and you don't wanna overdo it. 
But uh, so the fire's going there, and I'm going to let this burn for an hour. It's actually it's closer to an hour and a half, and you can see um, you see the fires going in there. I thought it was pretty decent. It wasn't hot enough. Um, I found that out later, as I'll show you in just a second. But you can see kind of the black smoke. Some of that's coming from the cubes that were in there. But the black smoke, the majority of it is just the the oils or the paint or whatever it is that that you kind of burn off when you're curing it. That's why you do it outside your tent. But here's a, a uh, an angle where you can see if you look carefully you can see the the heat um, the radiant heat just coming off of the top you see that and then let me show you a little time lapse of it I, I did a time lapse for about an hour hour and a half and you can see if you if you look carefully in the time lapse you'll notice that the snow starts to melt underneath the, the the frost starts to melt underneath the stove here so here's the time lapse the obviously the light in the video changes because of the overcast that kind of comes and goes before we put the stove in here we've got to make sure that we have the fire retardant stove mat. This is the Kodiak brand and there is a top and there is a bottom. You can just tell by the way there's seams on it. So you can see that seam right there. This is obviously the top. So I'm going to lay this down then we're going to put the stove on top. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first part of the flue insert it into the stove oh it looks like it's in and I can tell I need to move the stove back a little bit That's okay, so I'm just gonna have to move the stove. I think that looks about right. Yeah, that looks about right, right there. All right, so here's the rest of the flu. Um, it's, there's three more pieces. You can see the joints right here. They all taper like this. It's kind of like a duct system, but um, they all taper. You just put them together. The tapered end goes down into the this right here, the flue that's sticking out. Um, before I do that, though, this guard right here, it catches embers that come out so they don't land on the roof of your tent. Um, this goes on the top, so I'm going to put this on the top before I put it on because it's too tall to fit it on otherwise. Go. Like that. And we're going to throw this on like this. And we're set. And look at how tall this is. designed to be tall like that. So now with the uh, flu installed, everything, we're ready to open this up and fire it up and uh, test out how warm we get this Kodiak tent. I'm a, I'm a little bit embarrassed. Um, I did burn for over an hour um, what I thought was kind of hot. And then I got it into the tent, and then I really got it burning, and and there was a little bit of smoke coming off. You know, I don't know what it is—the oils, the paint. Um, it was a little bit shiny still in some spots when I brought it in into the tent, and I had thought it was cured, but it wasn't because when I really got it got a good fire in there, 
it it was a little bit unpleasant and smoky and uh, burned my eyes a little bit. Um, you can even see the pole has oxidized. So you can see now the shine is gone. There, there's no shine on this anywhere. And even the the beautiful um, chrome look, it's, I don't know if it's oxidized or what it is, but uh, it is definitely cured now. So learn from my mistake and make sure that you burn it pretty hot when you're when you're curing it otherwise you're gonna pay the price when it's in your tent I got the stove on it is nice in here I even took my shoes off I cannot believe how well a stove works I've, I've never stove camped before you know besides a, a little mr. buddy heater and I just thought I mean this thing just the heat is just that nice deep heat I don't know how to explain it I love the smell of the, um, I love the smell of the uh, the stove too. It's not. I expected to smell more smoke in here, but it just smells like a, like a Dutch oven, like because all the smoke obviously is going out through the flue. Well, 99% of it or whatever, but uh, I you can hear the the flame going whoo, kind of roaring in there. You can hear the crackles from the the wood. Um, really cool, really cool. So my conclusion about this um, cylinder stove is it's awesome. It's just fantastic. It's it's better than I thought it was. I love the dry heat versus my Mr. Buddy heater. Um, it, it's just fantastic. If there's some features that you have questions about, please comment below and I will answer you. If you want to see the tent that I used it in, I got snowed on the night that I used it. If you want to see that tent and that demo, look at the link uh, below. Uh, thanks for watching and if you found this helpful, please do me a favor hit the like button and you are always welcome to subscribe If you want to see more videos like this have a great day